Good morning, guys. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean moon, or excuse me, sun again. Welcome to Friday. This weekend starts the weekend of the build. And I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to my guns. I'm going to make it happen. Even if the tombstones aren't completely done yet, uh, we're still going to at least hopefully get up the, uh, the facade. And I still haven't planned out the rest of the hunt, so uh, the facade is definitely where we're going to start. About two hours ago till the end of the day, guys. Look at this. This is Phoenix's very first text message. <laughs> you see what uh, Lori Lee wrote. That is so freaking cute. Oh, room, woom, moon, moon. So funny. All right, guys, trying to get out of here for the day. Last car of the day. And honestly, I looked at myself in the mirror just now. I kind of look like Kevin Bacon in Footloose, so here we go. Can we do like a half shot and like have, yeah, see the hair? Go to work, check. Pay mortgage, check. Ship contest winnings, check. Ooh, Tombstone's try lock. Not check yet, but it is Friday, so I'm gonna get that done. Ah, so excited. I just had the revelation that a lot of you don't know the movie Footloose, or maybe you do because I think they redid it, right? Didn't they redo it? I didn't see the remake because I didn't want to. But anyway, I just had that revelation. Damn, I'm getting old. Bye, work. We'll see you in 48 hours. Weekend, slug bug. And there's the moon. And if you guys can see it, there's a plane up there too, but there's the moon. And why is that important? Because I gave you guys the sun and the moon in the same vlog. You're welcome. I do have the keys. Good thing, We're going for a walk. <laughs> there's the sun, puffy clouds. But there's the sun, many spider and the moon, and many many spider webs. And there's tombstones over there too. And we will get, we will get to those in like a couple minutes. But oh, just to show you guys, here's what the dry lock looks like when it's dried. Did I say dry lock? Oh yeah, it is dry lock, and it is dried. Wow, plan words. Take a close look at those windows. Don't those look like what Lori Lee is going for in the solarium? Those are fake. That's just paint, including including the uh, the stuff over the top of the door, too. That's not even a door. Oh my god, it's not. That's not even a door. She's absolutely right. Holy crap. That's kind of cool. Back from the walk and about ready to do the front of this tombstone. You guys remember to bring you up to date. Last night, I was able to do the back and the sides. Now keep in mind that the bottom was not done, so that's not done yet. I'll usually end up doing the bottom uh, last. The thing to remember when you do this, you can use a big brush to do the dry locking, but keep a small brush so that you can keep the letters from filling up. You don't want the letters to fill up. And then on fragile pieces like this right here that might break with a heavy brush stroke, you want to make sure that you um, be careful around those so you can use a small brush around the things that might break this is your special blotting brush you need to go through and make sure that you blot all of your letters make sure if you want them to stay nice and crisp i mean you don't have to but you have to make sure that like all the dry lock gets in there and i pull out the excess and just like put it somewhere to where i don't have any yet just to pull it out So maybe I use the incorrect term. I guess this would be your your pull the stuff out of the crack toothbrush or toothbrush paintbrush. Grr, arg. This would be your blotting brush because you go back and just kind of do this, and make sure there's no high edges or anything like that, and make it look all concretey. This is almost like Bob Ross, guys. You want to put it in some winter white, and then you come over here and you just kind of make a happy little tree. And get a crack. And and you want to fill that crack because you don't want your friends to be on crack, so you need to take care of it for them. So we'll see you next time and God bless. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> My dad used to watch Bob Ross all the time. I love that guy. It is harder to see now because it just got to be dark outside. However, if I do this, you guys would be like, oh, it's still light outside. Look at that. Well, no, it's actually dark. So, <laughs> it's just a figment of your imagination. It's a big new in of your imagination. 
Oh, a Fig Newton. Do you have any? Those sound really good, right? Ooh, Apple Newtons. Fig Newton of your imagination. Ooh, they should make like Apple Newton and Fig Newton ice cream. I know, right? If, like that Lay's potato chip thing, if the ice cream people did it, we could like totally win. I know. Ah, it's a baby. Look at the baby haunter. I don't always drink milk, but when I do, I prefer those boobies. Those boobies. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Just a bra. I've already seen a bra. The backs are dry locked. First coat is on all over on this one, only on the backs and sides backs and sides, not the front or the bottom on these two yet. So first coat's kind of done. It looks good. You know what I was thinking though? Uh-oh, you were thinking? Yeah, that's what that burning smell was earlier. Oh, I thought I smelled something. Yeah. Look, it's a little skeleton. Hello, flying skeleton. You should make him do like the jib jab video and make him sit there and dance. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Uh, we have some scrap wood, and this is like the second to the last campfire. We're going to do it tonight. We're going to do it tomorrow to get rid of the wood because we start putting up the panels and everything this weekend. So, second to last campfire of the summer of the year until we do the annual annual stick. <laughs> I almost said anal. <laughs> the anal stick burning. See, see, see. <laughs> there, there's a blooper right there. I didn't mean to do that. Really, I didn't. Um, Lori Lee, just you explain it. Well, she know, she had a bright idea. It's how Troy edits everything out to make himself to look not silly and not stupid and everything. All those little things are funny as hell. And so, you know, take those little clips where he effed up and throw it, in a, throw it into a file. And leave them all there until like the last week of the month. And then go in there and look at them. Throw them all together. All the funniest stuff. And then that's August blooper bit of the month. Yeah. Whether, you know, be like 10, 10 minutes or less or, or, you know, whatever. Or even two or three minutes would be cool. Well, I think 10 minutes or less, you know, and just be, you know, blooper fit of the month. And it'd be you, me, you know, all the people, actors, mom, dad, baby, uh, mini me, anybody doing something funny that you meant to edit out that was actually funny that you edited it out. <laughs> <laughs> So, a blooper video once a month. You guys post it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Okay, so the people who want to see funny stuff on YouTube, which YouTube is like more watched than TV now, people are looking at funny stuff, and those people are just looking at funny stuff, start getting interested in Halloween, so then it gets spread out even more, and then you get way more subscribers, and you get way more fun, and, and haunt more the, interaction. And, haunt the world yeah. is what we're saying, or she's saying. And she doesn't know it, but she just got through saying like, uh, uh, Internet killed television, CTFXC's tagline. Well, it's true. Just about ready to wrap up the fire for the night, but while I was sitting here, I just went and watched the last well, last year's opening day vlog for The Haunt. That's the one where we had um, makeup artists here, both uh, Aiden and Thaddeus. Um, came and did makeup and we had all the awesome actors here and everything was built I mean it's hard to believe go back and watch the vlog if I think about it I'll annotate it even though I haven't annotated yesterday's vlog for yesterday and tomorrow yet go back and watch that vlog because it's so exciting and it's just like it, it's this year is building up to be last year but better you guys are coming with us I'm gonna I'm gonna kidnap you here you go you're coming with us all right, you got it? <laughs> All the stuff that was packed into this backyard. We're doing it again. We're doing it better. We're doing it more awesomely. And let's do that cock, guys. Commenting on comments. It, I'm not being dirty here. If you guys thought something dirty, then that's on you. It stands for commenting on comments or COC. But you guys have been following for a while, so you know this, and you know that I have a dirty mind too. Anyway, Columbia Manor Haunted House. Ha ha ha, such dorks miss you guys. Yeah, we miss you too, Corey. <laughs> Awoken Nightmare, once you monster mud the stones, how much do they weigh? It really doesn't add that much to the stones because it's just like a little bit around the seams and whatnot, you know, things that you want to fill on it. LJ Mike 1204 what do you have on special effect stuff? Um, elaborate your question a little bit. Jacob Davis, you can dip Phoenix's hands in fake blood and splat. 
bloody handprints on the walls of the thing, I'm awesome. Well, all of you guys are awesome. And I'm not sure that his mom would... Where is she anyway? Whoa! Uh... Mr. Trap272, you must be a hunter if you put a zombie's head in the shed and your girlfriend opens it and screams. Why would your girlfriend go to the shed? But yes, that would be funny. And I think, quite honestly, okay, woodland hunters use wood filler in those seams, Troy. Very good idea. I think that's a step that I missed out on. Nail Bunny Girl, 76 days, Troy, just saying, I know I'm stressed. But with all that stress, the funny comment of the night that breaks all that up Viva Todd Vegas hashtag hashtag that is hashtag awesome see you guys tomorrow happy hashtag haunting <laughs> hashtag peace hashtag rock on thanks for coming to Halloween Hellbound y'all come back now you hear